Good morning. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. I hope that you have a great start to your day whenever you're watching this. Um, I've got a question for you as we start. How many of you struggle to ask for help or accept help? Uh, this has been a challenge I've had throughout most of my adult life of being stubborn and wanting to do things myself, wanting to prove that I'm able to do it, which may be why it's most frustrating to me to see that character trait uh, displayed already in my youngest. She's three years old and is very quick to say, don't help me. She wants to do things herself. She wants to be the one to uh, accomplish whatever task is in front of her and will even shove me away uh, to, to further resist if I try and help. Uh, and today we're going to see a passage from the book of Exodus that, that really helps us get to the core of, of how we uh, see this idea of community and relationships and people helping us uh, in a really powerful way. And in actually, I think, one of my favorite stories uh, from all of Scripture on this topic. So I'm going to read this uh, rather than just paraphrasing. I want to read this because I think there's power in God's word uh, just being read to us. Uh, so Exodus chapter 17, starting in verse 8, says, then Amalek came and fought with Israel. So Moses said to Joshua, choose for us men, go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him and fought with Amalek, while Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. Whenever Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed. Whenever he lowered his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands grew weary so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aaron and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun, and Joshua overwhelmed Amalek and his people with the sword. And God said to Moses, Write this as a memorial in a book and recite it in the ears of Joshua, that I will utterly blot out the memory of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it, The Lord is my banner, saying, A hand upon the throne of the Lord. The Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. And I love this story because it shows the power of God at work through us when we're obedient to his call that, that Moses was able to have such a tangible impact on the battle that they were having with Amalek, but he wasn't able to do it alone. He grew weary. He grew tired from doing the very thing that God wanted him to do even in the moment, but he grew weary. And the only solution was to allow people to help him to allow men to come alongside him and physically help him with what he needed to do. And so today, as we, as we think about this, uh, let me encourage you to, to accept help from those around you. As you face situations where maybe you grow tired and weary, where you don't know how to keep going in the good that you know you're supposed to be doing, allow people to help you. Don't be that person that says, no, I've got this, I can do this, I don't need help while internally thinking, I don't know if I've got this. I don't know how I can do this without help. There's, there's nothing wrong with accepting help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. It's not a sign of weakness or, or incompetence to say, hey, I, I need help with this, or to simply allow people to come alongside and, and lift us up in our times of need. But the second thing, if you're in a place where, where you don't feel like, hey, I'm really struggling, maybe God has placed you in someone's circle to lift them up. Maybe you're in a place of, of strength or health or opportunity to say, hey, let me be that person who comes along someone who's, who's struggling and in need and can literally lift them up and help them. And so today, I want you to evaluate, am I in a place where I need help? If so, who can I ask to support me and to help me through this time? Or am I in a place to offer help? And who are the people around me that I can graciously and, and humbly uh, offer my assistance to, to lift them up? Because I believe that we're much better, stronger, or we're much stronger together than we are alone, uh, and that God has created us for community. Uh, and so today, build your community. Allow people to, to come alongside you and help, and be that person who renders assistance when you have opportunity. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.